Hello everybody, in this part of the lesson we'll learn how to format currency and numbers which are used in many e-commerce type applications where currency or decimal number formatting is called for. This is going to be a very short video. This came about because of a forum thread that Shane UK started at Develop PHP, and he has a very good point. When you have zeros past the decimal point in your numbers, when you do equations using PHP, sometimes you lose the visible display of those decimal values. So let me show you what I'm talking about. First, in my database, I'll show you that I changed all of my prices. You can see exactly what my prices look like in my database now. Now they're rounded dollar numbers, but they still hold a decimal value with the two zeros. But you, if you look at my cart, you'll notice where the problem comes in. The unit price looks just fine, so you don't even have to worry about that. But anytime PHP performs a math equation on numbers, you're going to lose the decimal and whatever zeros you have past the decimal unless you format it correctly. And the reason why I didn't even notice it is because all of my prices had were four ninety nine. But what you can do to fix this, because here in the total you want to have thirty dollars look correctly where it has a decimal and two zeros behind it. And same with the cart total. So here's how you take care of that kind of problem. You go into your cart.php and right here above the dynamic table row assembly you pop in these two lines of code. And just make sure you set your currency type, your country, whatever your currency type is there for your locale. And then the price total gets run through the money format function here. And the first argument is the type of formatting you want. The second argument is the actual number that you want to run through it. And you can read more about this money format function at php.net slash forward slash manual, I think it is. php.net forward slash manual and you'll find the PHP manual there where they have all the functions. You can search for this one, Money Format, and it'll show you all about it. So let's see what that does. So now let's remove the dollar sign, because we don't need that, because the Money Format function is going to add it for us. So right down here in Price Total, you can remove that dollar sign. All right, so you see how it formats correctly now. And it adds our zeros where it needs to. Now let's take care of this cart total, because we also need the zeros there. So you simply go back into your file, and right here outside of the for each loop, right down here where we're formatting the cart total variable, right above that, you can pop in these two lines. And we're pretty much just running the same type thing on that cart total variable. Make sure you remove that dollar sign because the money format function is going to add the dollar sign for you and your zeros. Okay, so there it is. So that'll help you keep a, a nicer formatting for your numbers there. Now we also have another function called number format that we can use. He went with a number format function, which is right here. Actually, let's go look at it here at develop.php. And here's the URL to this page. Especially with this second example here. This one right there. That's the one you'd want to use if you want to retain your zeros, but you want to have more custom control over the the way the number is format. So you have options there. You can use the money format or the number format function to retain your decimal and any zeros that trail it. All right, so I hope that helps any of you guys that happen to run into that problem. We'll see you in part 16.